fitness will make you more money. And so I want to give a little bit of context as to where I'm coming from, why I think you should probably dedicate your entire life to fitness now before it's too late. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Not too long ago, I went to Tulum, Mexico for a client retreat for the program that I'm partnered with. And a bunch of really cool entrepreneurs there, about 19 of us. Everybody was at least making six figures a year, six figures a month. And uh, yeah, everybody was a killer. And it just so happens that a lot of these guys were actually fitness coaches. So as you'd expect, all of them are in shape. They feel confident. They make a ton of money. And so again, immediately right off the bat, I noticed that correlation. I couldn't relate to that, right? I wasn't in shape. I'm making pretty decent money, but not as much as I would want, right? Like 20, 30, 50K. And so ultimately that experience alone just helped me put the pieces together. Every single one of these guys are jacked. Every single one of these guys have impact on the world. They all make a ton of money. And so therefore it wasn't that hard to come to that conclusion. Get in shape and you'll make more money. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Obviously, some of you watching know that I am an appointment setter, right? That's my skill. That's what I do. Um, I make really good money doing it. Last four weeks, I've made about 10K, which is awesome. And so through this experience going to Tulum, I actually met one of the fitness trainers and connected really well with him. We were really just talking about trading value. You know, I can help you here. He can help me there. And so it was about a month and a half ago where I kind of asked one of the fitness guys that I connected well with just for a little bit of a blueprint or a guide on which direction to take and how I could just start because I knew I needed to get started. And because prior to that, we had actually hopped on multiple calls with one of his team members and helped him with his appointment setting process, he just let me into his program, right? And he's treating me as a client, which is awesome. And I'm super blessed for that. And so that might be a really good takeaway for you guys, right? If you have skills, go and network, right? Just trade value. You never know what can come from it because you helping somebody else with a particular area that you're an expert in, they can probably return the favor. So, you know, just a little nugget to throw in there. And yeah, we ultimately came up with a plan on how we were going to get started. Really, the first two weeks were me just getting in the gym, making sure I was comfortable with movements and exercises. And yeah, just build a habit there rather than diving all the way in, if that makes sense. During this entire time, I am also eating very clean and I'm fully focused on protein intake, which is a minimum of 140 grams per day for the first two weeks. And this is really what phase one is looking like. I'm actually wrapping it up right now. But phase two is going to be more of a calorie deficit approach. And it's been really awesome so far. I mean, I haven't purposely been going out of my way to try and lose fat or lose weight. And I've almost managed to lose about 10 pounds total by just cleaning up the diet in itself. And ultimately, guys, I know I haven't made any extreme progress. Uh, a year from now, I'm probably gonna make a little bit of an update video and then we'll be surprised and a little bit more shocked with the results. But I feel great right now. I'm making progress. I'm tracking all of my weight training to make sure I'm you know, progressing over time. And so it's really fun. It's awesome. And so now I want to get into what I think are the benefits of getting into shape. Because like I mentioned before, it's not only about building your strength capability, but it has a lot to do with you know, confidence, relationships, business. It doesn't matter. It goes full circle. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the screenshot that's on the screen right now. And uh, it's just the first thought that came to me when I was trying to put this all into context. But I think being in shape is in direct correlation with this screenshot, right? It's like you immediately get respect. And um, I guess passing missions are just inevitable, right? Like you're just going to achieve more because getting in shape and getting stronger and getting leaner and shredded is hard. I'm not going to lie. Even within this time frame that I've just started, like I've had a couple of uh, workouts and gym sessions here where like it's it's pretty hard but it immediately shows you're committed to the long term. So, you know, just a little bit of a scenario here. If you're going into a job interview and you can see that you're very much putting in work in the gym through your collared shirt or whatever, um, what that tells somebody else without having to say anything is that you have committed to something that is difficult and takes a really long fucking time, right? So more than likely, are you going to be able to do the job that you're applying for? The same goes for signing clients, right? If you have a program or whatever that looks like, they get on the call with you and they see that you're freaking shredded, you immediately gain respect because it takes super long to achieve. It also shows you're willing to do the boring work that matters. So, you know, as a business owner or just a really good employee that just earns a fuck ton of money, you have to be really good at the thing that you're providing. And that takes practice. It takes long repetitions, right? Like basketball or any other sport. You got to be in the gym all the time, really just working on your craft and mastering everything. And that's exactly what it shows is you're willing to do that work. You being in shape directly reflects how well you're running your business or how well your business can get results for somebody else. And lastly, you just look better on camera 
and therefore your marketing is going to be way better and you're going to make more money. Pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. Just to wrap it up here, guys, a couple of action steps that I think are really good to consider and to take is to expand your time horizon, okay? Especially if you're going into fitness and you're looking to get shredded and in shape, this shit is not going to happen in a month or two. It could take a year. So expect results then. Don't expect results within the first month or the second because there, you are going to get to a point where you kind of plateau a bit and you have to pivot with whatever approach you're taking. But yeah, just commit to the long term and apply that to every single thing inside of your life, business, your relationships, everything. I promise your results are going to show. And if possible, go hire a fitness guy because he's going to hold you accountable. And then ultimately, you're not going to have a choice. And I think that's a really good position to put yourself in where you have your back against the wall and you you literally don't have any choice because you're going to let somebody else down other than yourself. And I think it's easier to let yourself down rather than somebody else who's really depending on you to try and get those results. They're going out of their way to help you with your nutrition. So yeah, go hire a fitness guy. And the last one is to just go get fit. Nobody's life ever got worse from getting absolutely shredded. So take that into consideration. I'll see you all in the next one.